welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, we're going to take a look at the quick cryptic today and uh, solve it um, solve it together. Uh, and just opened it up, so let's see how we go. So, just terrible alongside Labour leader. Okay. Well, I don't think it's going to be Corbyn. Um, Labour leader sounds like an L. Uh, okay. So we need a five letter word for terrible that's either going to appear before or after uh, an L to give a six letter word that means just. So have a think about that. I'm going to type in the answer now. So we've got awful there after the L. Let's try and use the letters we've got. So tilt table, well the only good thing about this is that you can immediately um, define what sort of clue it is. It's a double definition. So we need a word that means tilt and a word that means table. So have a think about that. And the answer is list. So it's listing, it's tilting. Let's try two down. Cry out loud for marine animals. Okay, so this is one of these clues where we need to think about homophones. So this is going to be, uh, the answer is a marine animal. And we need a word for cry, which when we say it, sounds like that marine animal. So there's a few ways I think of doing this. One would be to guess at a marine animal that fits with, with what we have in the grid. Um, have a think. See if you can justify it. And the answer is whale. Right. Predictable uprisings run out of control. So I hope that people are starting to become familiar now with, with you know, clues that just look like they contain anagrams. And just to give you an idea, as I read this clue, I, I didn't actually read the out of control bit at all. But I already knew it was an anagram of uprisings run because it's such a strange collection of letters to put next to each other that it, it sort of felt like an anagram. Um, so it means predictable, 12 letters. We've, we've got the letters there. Have a think. The answer is unsurprising. Okay, I think we'll carry on trying to use the letters here. Um, Funny spat in polished comedic genre. Okay, so this one we're looking for a comedic genre um, and we're looking for an anagram of spat. That's what funny is telling us to do, it's telling us that we can anagram the letters of spat in a five letter word that means polished. And we know that five letter word begins with S, from what we've got in the grid. Um, so see if you can hone in on an answer there. Type it in now. Stick. There we go. I'd all, always do, be trying to use the K here if I got it. So let's go straight, straight there. One totally exposed in the water. Okay, this is an example of a cryptic definition. It's sort of a pun. Um, so I, you can't. I can't really tell you more about that. You need to, but with puns, it's like it's a bit like the old Trivial Pursuit clue. So you, they always used to contain a little extra nugget of information if you read them very carefully. Um, so one totally exposed in the water. Let's see if you can think about what that might be getting at. I'm going to type in the answer now. Skinny dipper i.e. totally exposed naked. Again, we're going to carry on. We're going to do this properly. Uh, we're going to try and use the Y here. Energetic sort, many were called in party. Okay, so what we need to do here is to... The definition is energetic sort. And then we need a word for a party so try and think of some short words for parties like rave, bash, or even shorter words if you can. The shortest word you can think of that could be a party. Um, 
and we need to reverse uh, a word for many or many itself in, in the middle of that word that you found for party. So have a think, pause the video if you need to. The answer there is dynamo. And again, very helpful that, that we use the letter there. That would have been, I think, a much harder clue without the Y. So maybe I should do a few without, without any checking letters. Okay, land also at C. Well, my tip is if you see the wor words at C in a crossword, you should be definitely trying to think of an anagram. Um, and this looks good because also is four letters, which is what we need. So have a think about that and see if you can conjure up an answer that could be a land. In this case, a country. So it's Lao, which I think is how it's pronounced rather than Laos. Um, Right, five down. US crime appalling within borders of Alabama. Okay, so again, hopefully people are starting to pick up on the fact that, you know, the borders of Alabama, that's screaming the edge letters, the, the beginning and the ending letters of Alabama. So they're both A, and that looks good with what we have in the grid. And we need to put either a word for appalling in the middle of those two A's or more likely actually because it's very hard to think of a definition of a US crime um, perhaps an anagram of crime in the middle of the two A's to mean US and there's probably you've got it ready the answer is America. Okay, let's have a look here. Bird stuck in the mud. I'm sure this um, this is a clue I might have seen before, but this is one of the hidden clues. So, I the the answer is appearing in the letters in the in the clue itself. So, try and find that. The answer is emu. Let's see how you. Okay, and this is another relatively easy clue at six down so 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 urgent to cook fish um, so I mean this is uh, name of a fish eight letters and when we see words like cook uh, funny we've already seen um, we need we need to be thinking about anagrams especially as I, I don't know about you but so urgent again it seems those letters look like anagram fodder to me. So try and find an anagram of so urgent that might be a fish or another politician. And there we go. Okay, so sad direction taken in trial. Okay. I'm slightly not longer answer obviously uh, it means sad um, and we need to put a word for direction in a word for a trial here um, or I would say here is that this is a trial as in a you know a trial you'd see in court so think along those lines and I'm going to type in the answer heart ring in. So a trend being a direction there. Seven down. I've not looked at the clue yet, but I'm all, already, you know, I worry about answers like this because there are just so many um, possibilities that, that could go in here. That you know, if the clue is in any way ambiguous or hard to get a handle on, certainly in the normal times crossword, I'd worry about this this collection of letters already. Let's have a look. Record attack written up with accuracy ultimately. Okay, well, look, the good thing here is we can see with accuracy ultimately. That looks like we need to put a Y at the end, so that, i.e., the last letter of accuracy. So let's put that in uh, and see, see if that helps. So, record is probably the definition. Attack written up. So we need a word for attack, four-letter word for attack, which we're going to reverse and we're going to write it upwards, and the whole thing is going to mean record. So 
that's not too difficult now. It's a diary with rate reversed. Okay, so that's the top half done relatively smoothly. Let's have a look at 12 down. That gives us a lot of good letters. Bishop has composed choral for a single man. Okay, well, Bishop, as we know, has basically two abbreviations in crosswords. Um, it's either B or it's RR. But the words composed choral make it sound like uh, an anagram to me. So it looks like we're looking for a B followed by an anagram of chorale and the whole thing means a single man. That's pretty easy I think so let's write that in bachelor. As is T for tiramisu perhaps. I know that one. Uh, as is T tiramisu Let's come back to that, sorry. Uh, final part, getting house in order. Okay, yeah. So this one is, um, this one means final part. And then we need a word for a house. Uh, and then a word that means in order. So it's quite a difficult clue in a sense here because it would be possible to read this clue in a different way, i.e. a word for order around the outside of a word for house. Um, but perhaps with, if you look at the what we have in the grid, we have the starting letters for both of the uh, uh, both of the words in the, in the answer, and that's what really allowed me to to hone in on what what we needed to do. So have a think about that one. Answer is home straight. Let's so use three letter. Okay, field in spring cut. Well, that's okay. This is a three letter word for a field, and we need a four letter word for a spring. Um, and we need, we're going to cut the end off it. So have a think about that. And a very popular crossword word is a lee. Appears a lot. Um, Latest run for paper, nine letters. Okay, so again, when we see the word for in a clue, that's implying that the next part of the clue is going to be giving us the definition. And so, that, and that is the case here. That, that won't always be the case. Sometimes for is used in wordplay because, you know, for can be pro, P-R-O, which is, you can see, that can be used to build up a number of words. Um, but in this case, we should certainly be considering the possibility that, that paper is the definition. Um, so what we need is a word that means latest and a word that means run. Uh, and we're going to put those together and the whole thing will mean paper. And it's got to fit with the letters obviously we have in there. So have a think about that. The answer is new, new sprint. So new for latest, sprint for run. Um, okay, let's look now at, oh, let's keep using initial letters. Rugby in state of despair. Uh, okay, yeah, so again, my tip for, from this clue would be whenever you see rugby, the abbreviation RU is very common. Um, so for rugby union. So if we just hypothesize that that's involved somehow and put the U in, um, you can possibly see how the answer works. Um, because what we need now is just to add the IN to give ruin, which is a state of disrepair. It had we not had the starting R there, we would have had to consider something different. We would have had to consider putting the RU in the middle of a two letter abbreviation for a state of America, for example. That's certainly something I would have thought about there. Um, uh, to give a word that means disrepair. But we're, we're lucky in the sense that we had the R at the start and we couldn't have a word that began begins R, R, U. So it isn't too bad. This is, looks like a very strange word at 14 down. 
Um, I can think of any word that fits Campari, maybe that's the answer, let's see. Uh, things beaten in defeat, I'm panicking. Okay, this is another hint. Um, so, helped a bit by the fact that we had this sort of the M in the in the clue already. So you should be able to get that just by studying the clue carefully. The answer is timpani. Boast new top. Okay, well, again, we. There's two ways of reading this, which would be perfectly valid. New could be an anagram indicator telling us to anagram the letters of boast to give us a, a word that means top. Well, we can see from what we have in the grid that's impossible. The other possibility, though, is that new is being used just to, uh, to give us an N, uh, because N is a common abbreviation for new. And so if we can see the only place we could put an N in this clue is here. So we need a four-letter word for boast. We've got the N, and the whole thing will mean top. So have a think. It's crown. Okay. Scary like a moustache. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> so this is uh, like a this is a double definition again, really. Um, something scary. It is hairy, which is like a moustache. Um, okay, four letters. College record elevated. Well, again, hopefully the the way the clue works is fairly clear. Uh, the word elevated there looks like an instruction, i.e. I, you reverse a word that means record and the whole thing will be a college that fits with that T that we have in the grid. Well, this is a fairly common word as well in crosswords, eaten. Um, so, there we go. Um, writer implicating boy in fraud. Okay, well, when I see fraud in a crossword, I always think of con. So again, we've talked before about one way to approach cryptic crosswords is to find what look like they might be important words in the clue and to think of every possible short synonym. If the word has a short synonym, it, it could well be relevant. So here I'm thinking I need to use con somehow, just from the word fraud in the clue. Um, if we look at the letters in the grid and think about how we might be able to use con, we can almost guess the answer. Uh, so we need a writer. We need to put a three-letter word for a boy in the middle, con. That should now be obvious. So let's go back to the one that we struggled with, or I struggled with. You've probably already got it, but um, let's have a look. As is T for tiramisu, perhaps. As is T tiramisu, perhaps. Uh, Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> this is very clever. This is a lovely clue. Um, yeah, I, I should have maybe got it more quickly, but it's it's quite um, quite elliptic. So the um, uh, when we see tiramisu, perhaps with a question mark there, it's sort of implying that tiramisu is an example of the answer, um, and then. The word play there, which is as is T, is not really going to help us, to be honest, until we have we were able to guess at what tiramisu might be an example of. So have a think about how this might work. I'm going to put the answer in, and then we'll talk about it. Put it in now. Oh, sure. <laughs> um, there we go. So. Um, so the answer after this is because tiramisu is a pudding, um, and T is after S in the alphabet, which is what how the you know the word plays working there. So that's a really good clue. I like that very much. Um, I hope this was instructive, and um, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll look at the cryptic, the full cryptic tomorrow. But I think it's always quite useful to take a look at the quick cryptic at least once a week. Um, you know, going through the solve is, uh, is, is instructive. And um, yeah, we'll see you again for the next edition of Cracking the Cryptic.